Hello YouTube, I'm Vince White. I'm an employment attorney. I owe you the courtesy of sitting up straight. And we are answering publicly posted questions on YouTube from YouTube users. And we have a question here from two from two different folks. Essentially the same question, I think. Um, YouTube user Marcus Anderson and YouTube user Elijah West. These These were posted respectively 16 and 15 hours ago both on our video entitled Moving Your Employment Discrimination or Sexual Harassment Case Out of the State Agency to the EEOC, which is posted on October the 19th of 2022. And I will read the questions into the record. Marcus Anderson started the conversation off asking, when making a complaint, does it have to be in writing to HR or is a verbal complaint the same even if you have a journal documented on the side, oh, even if you document it in your journal on the side that the event happened? And Elijah West then posted in reply to that post, I had the same question as you, as I have a case in the EOC now. Uh, the employer just submitted their position statement. From what I heard, a verbal complaint can be tricky because they can deny you ever complained. Uh, it's best that it's in writing. Oh, this warms my heart. Elijah West, you are, you are carrying the torch. You are giving answers to other YouTube users, and I love it. I'm here for it. Um, he continues, I had... Uh, made a verbal complaint as well, but thank God I kept all the text messages from my manager dismissing my complaints. That is my proof. I was fired after going to HR with a sexual harassment complaint. Funny thing is the company just dug themselves in a hole because they told the EEOC I never complained, but I have proof. Try your best to get anything you can in writing. Good luck. Elijah West, thank you. Thank you. I, I don't even have to make this video anymore. You did a great job. Um, there's one more post on this chain, XTV ratings guy, a different YouTube user says, if they lied about why they fired you to the EEOC, then that may be considered pretextual. Yeah, well, this is a great thread. I love watching the people who watch this channel help each other. This feels amazing and I feel redundant, but I'm going to make the video anyways because I already click record. So, <laughs> um, I'm going to just, Marcus Anderson, I am going to say that Elijah West and XTV Ratings Guy both give you great advice here. Um, the fact of the matter is human beings lie. Scared human beings lie more often. And if you're bringing um, a complaint of discrimination, a complaint of sexual harassment to HR, you do want it to be in writing. Because fundamentally, humans lie. They lie to HR, they lie on the stand under oath, they lie in their position statements, they're gonna, they lie in fact planning conferences. Human beings just want to protect themselves and they need their job specifically because it's how they put the roof over their head and the food in their mouth, right? So never, ever, ever, ever think that your coworkers, your managers, your, your business owner, whoever you're saying, they're not gonna come in and just say what you want them to say right so if you can get things in writing and save a copy of the written document ideally a timestamp copy ideally ideally a copy timestamp by a third party email server love that text messages oh yeah those are amazing right like things that you can prove through neutral third parties existed and happened when you say they happened because in the absence of evidence what is it we have a he said she said you say that you complained, they say you didn't, and that is not as strong a position as having a document stamped by a third party where you can very clearly show, yeah, this is what I said, and this is when I said it. And you combine the document that says, this is what I said, and this is when I said it, with your testimony, put them together, that's way better than a he said, she said. Now listen, I have other videos of a he said, she said. People are very hard on that evidentiary fight that he said to you they, oh you can't go forward it's your word against theirs don't that it's not you can you can fight that fight don't think you can't fight that fight now by the same token don't fight that fight if you don't have to right it's better to have the testimony and the evidence that's why you want it in writing so elijah west advice to you is spot on and elijah west has a future as an employment attorney if this video was helpful like and subscribe None of you need me anymore. People, you're going to answer each other's questions now. It's amazing. But still like and subscribe. It helps me to help more people just like you. Take care, everybody.